cold. <laughs> I'm all shaking. It's okay. Yeah, we went through a lot. I did the best of I can, you know, every day. Yeah. And I really admire what my son has accomplished. He always said, I'll do something for you, Mom, one of these days. I'll always take care of you. So guys, Johnny, Polly, Tracy, and Michael, we're in Arizona, and we're driving to a little town called Pinion on the Navajo Reservation to meet the Yazi family. Now, their young son, Garrett, has done something truly amazing to help out his family. Take a look at this tape, and you see why we're here to help. Hi, Hi ABC. ABC. We're, we're the Yazi family. family. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our home. Or Navajo, we say. This is the Yazi family trailer. It's hard to believe, but six people are living this thing. You've got Garrett, Garrett's mom, Georgia, and his two sisters, Gwen, Geraldine, and Geraldine's two kids. Our home is really falling apart, and we just don't want <laughs> the wind to really pick up and blow it away one of these days, so we're just trying to hang on to it as much as because that's all we have. This place would be hard for anyone to live in, but it's especially hard for the Aussies, and particularly Gwen, who's 12 years old and suffers from epilepsy and severe asthma. It's pretty scary for us, but when, especially when Gwendolyn um, gets sick because uh, the hospitals for emergency treatment is like an hour drive from here. The family up until two years ago was heating the house uh, with coal burning stove. Well, not only was the coal expensive, but the fumes also make Gwen sick. My sister has really bad asthma, so we couldn't burn firewood or coal. So what I did was I built a water heater and a house heater out of junk. So that's why they, they call me Junk Air Genius. Garrett knew he had to do something to help out his family. He gathered 69 soda cans in an old car radiator, and he invented a solar-powered heating system that didn't run on coal and would make Gwen sick. When the sun hits it, it goes through the plexiglass, it goes through the cans, and that's where the heat comes in. And then it makes its way through the top into the house. Now, Garrett was only 13 when he invented the solar heating system, and he's been nationally recognized uh, for his invention. But the trailer that his family lives in still has tons of problems. Our home is in a poor condition. It's over, <laughs> like, 30 years old, and a lot of things are not working in our house. It's basically falling apart. You've got holes in the floor, you've got holes in the windows, you've got electricity, but no running water. And they've got tires on the top of it so it doesn't get blown away in a windstorm. This is where we get our water, and in the wintertime, it's very hard for us because it freezes. Inside our trailer, we don't, our bathroom don't work, so this is where we go to use the restroom. In the middle of the night, we come out with flashlight. <laughs> We're arriving just at the right time. A few months ago, Mom Georgia was in an accident. However, she is recovering, and she only has to use a wheelchair part-time, but she's still dependent on her family for all her care. I feel like I'm a burden to them by cheating them up, that they have to deal with me taking care of me instead of me taking care of them. So while Garrett tries to excel at school, his older sister, Geraldine, has really become the family's primary caretaker. She takes care of her brother and her sister, her own two kids, and mom. There's just a lot of responsibility for both of us. No, Garrett's trying to do his school. It's just too much. Garrett's dream is to get his family in a house that's safe and built in the tradition of preserving the earth. In the Navajo way, we are taught to use Mother Earth and Father Sky. So at the age of 13, I just thought to myself, hey, it's time to grow up, become a man in the house. I just wanted to become a mentor, help my people out. And I really want to work hard because my goal is to get my mom a house. All I can say is, what a kid. Oh my gosh. And Garrett believes in the Navajo way and sustainable living, living off the land. Some people call it green building. And that's the kind of home Garrett would like us to build for his family. So what do you say? Can we do this? Absolutely. Yeah. We're putting it yeah. in there, people. Let's make it happen. Are you with me? Yeah. Well, then let's do it. Let's go, let's go, come on. Everybody ready? Good morning, Yazzie family! Garrett, Georgia, Geraldine, Gwen, Quincy, and Kevin! Come on out here! Hey, buddy, how are you? 
When we first rolled up to the house, we just looked at that trailer and went, wow, it's really bad. It also makes you stop and think about how people can survive and how people are determined to survive, and, and that's part of this culture. And they were making it okay in there, but we're gonna make it a whole lot better. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm all shaking. It's okay. Oh, we went through a lot. I did the best of I can, you know, every day. Yeah. I really admire what my son has accomplished. He always said, I'll do something for you, Mom, one of these days. I'll always take care of you and the whole family. It really came true, you know. It's just fun. This guy is amazing. And, uh, and he's been, I know you've been doing a lot yeah. trying to take yes. care of your family. Guys, have fun. We'll see you in a week. Okay. All right? Bye, Bye guys. Bye. inspiration to us this week. You figured out a way to create heat for your family when they needed it. Well, we were kind of inspired by that and tried to figure out a way not only to give you guys a heated house, but figure out a way to also give you a house that, that kind of works with Mother Nature. So are you guys ready to see what's yeah. behind that bus? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah. <laughs> trailer. We had tires on our roof. We had cracks in the window, holes in the floor, our roof leaking. But now our new home is really beautiful. It's just great to come home to. You see these solar panels? These guys actually move to follow the sun all day so they can maximize collecting as much of the UV rays as possible. And over here, got a wind generator. When your house has plenty of power, all the extra that it generates goes back into the grid and helps out the people in your community. And you've also got plants on your roof. You see that? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> that actually uh, insulates the home, but also protects your roof, keeps it lasting longer. So you guys are utility free. I mean, that's what green living is all about. Seeing the solar panels and the plants on the roof and the wind generator, it felt good because it all falls back to what I was saying, walking with the Mother Earth and using the gifts of the Father Sky, knowing that it wouldn't hurt the environment, and knowing that we don't have to pay the bills anymore. It's a good feeling for my family, knowing that we don't have to struggle anymore. As I went in, I was looking at everything that was in there. It was so beautiful, and I was so happy to see it was like a home to come to, and I love my home. Hey, buddy. You staring at your invention? Yeah. Oh, we thought it was fitting that it, it would be right here in the entranceway when you came in. That's nice. I was surprised that my project was sitting there, and it was a good feeling for me and my family to know that we're gonna start a new life in that home. I think the greatest thing about this kitchen is right here. That. I know, that's what we're doing right there. That's how we <laughs> finally we have running water. Uh -huh. And this is all throughout the house. Now this is Kenmore Energy Star, which means 
it actually uses less energy to run. Oh. So you guys got a brand new fridge, brand new dishwasher, um, stove, all new cabinets, dishes, you name it. Oh, wow. It was great to see this family smile and happy and see Garrett really realize that his, his family's gonna be okay. You had that sense that they were at peace and they, that, that weight was lifted off their shoulders. Do you guys like everything you've seen so far? Yes. yes. Would you like to see some more house? Yes. Well, then go check out your house. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. This is not, oh my God, I can't believe it. When I opened the door to my room, I was very excited. I love BMX because when you jump up in the air, there's nothing like it. When that breeze hits your face, it's, it's magical. Oh my God. Oh, look at all this stuff. Here, look. It, look. <gasps> so how do you like your room? <laughs> You like it? <laughs> Thank you, Garrett. <laughs> it makes me happy a lot that now she can breathe fine. Nothing will happen to her. You don't need to run to the hospital anymore. I know living in that really beat up trailer mm -hmm. with no water and, and thinking it was gonna blow away any minute was really tough on you. But you raised your family. And I think you're a pretty awesome mom. And I think you deserve a pretty special room. So I made your bedroom my special project this week. Oh, wow. <laughs> so why don't you go in, check it out. Okay. This is neat. Bathroom. <laughs> to hear the water running meant a lot to me. It was a relief type of feeling that I had, not only for myself, but for my kids. Hey. <laughs> so what do you think? I love it. <laughs> So, I know you didn't have a bathroom like this before. Yeah. But, um, this is really yours. I like, I really like. <laughs> Come on, I'm going. Thank you.